Within Agile, user stories are written to replace requirements as a way of describing what the team should build and deliver. These live in the product backlog and are used to help the team prioritize their work. We order that backlog by value, trying to build the highest value first. So make sure your stories tell a compelling story about the value to your customers for the software you are building. The story should focus on the who, what, and why, not the how. Here are a few tips for writing a good user story. Always put yourself in the mind of your customer and the value they will derive. An OK user story might say, because it's what I expect as a customer, I want the system to be stable. This tells me a little bit about the customer, its desire for a stable system. But even better, because my employees work all hours in different time zones and around the clock, I want the system to be stable. Now I've learned a little bit about what the customer will get out of that stability and why they want it. And the actual measurement that defines stability, X9s of available, would go into the acceptance criteria. Speaking of who the customer is, another element of a good user story is clarity around the who and understanding around the people and entities for whom you are writing this functionality. It's worth it to spend time creating rich personas that help the team understand their various users and customers, their situations, and their priorities. Any given user story might have multiple who's. Sometimes, your piece of functionality has more than one benefit for more than one customer or user. For example, an e-commerce site might have a user story to suggest where users can buy products as part of the search results. One who might be the business partner who wants to drive traffic to their retail site. Another who might be the customer who wants to quickly find the retailers that sell that particular product. In these cases, when writing a user story, you may want to state the what and then write the who-why pair that tells a compelling story about all beneficiaries. My next tip is that user stories, just like traditional requirements, need to focus on the what and not the how. A good user story might be, as a frequent shopper, I want to purchase with one click so I can buy without hassle. This story describes a goal without getting into the implementation details. A bad example is, as a frequent shopper, I want the site to maintain a profile of demographic and payment data so my one-click button purchases go faster. I've now told the developers exactly how to build it. It might not be the best way to provide that value, and my story doesn't leave them any options. Many people learn a classic user story template. As a who, I want what, so that, why. While templates are helpful for reminding us of the elements to include, the who, what, and why, they can also become too rigid, leading to tortured prose. Focus on telling a story. That said, don't make it too long a story. I can tell when I've started to provide too much detail when I fail the question test. When my team stops asking me questions, I know I've started to put in too much stuff. Take a little bit back out and have a conversation. A conversation is one of the most valuable parts of a user story and a key ingredient to a successful Agile team.